Hello, this is Mr. Chabry. Let's grab another battle. This is a possible rain team as well. Um, basically, Bear Scooter sets up the rain. It possibly could honestly be a Sun team too because there is a Charizard there. Um, I mean, Lucario and Snorlax are like very weak to my fighting. Um, that's honestly about it. I think honestly, uh, Gigalith and Excadrill would be really nice here. I really do think that. Um, I think, honestly, leading Incineroar for the Intimidate would be good. Um, Incineroar actually looks good here. Um, also, Whimsicott. And our two Sand Boys. Or girls. They're actually girls. Or Sand Girls. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be a battle of weather. So if we can get Gigalith out there to... Uh, negate whatever weather my opponent sets up, that would be good. Uh, what we're going to have to do is make sure Barrascuda is not the mon my opponent sends up, or sets up the weather with, because I feel like Barrascuda is the bigger threat on my opponent's team. So we've got to watch out for that. Uh, let's see what we're going to lead with. Okay, so it is Barrascuda, Incineroar, and Whimsicott. So the good thing is we don't have to worry um, about uh, any status changes onto Incineroar from uh, the uh, Olingar, as he's named. It's probably like a German name for it. Uh, but still have to worry about Barrascuda. Um... Go ahead and you turn into the Bear Scooter, and we'll go ahead and kind of Tailwind. Yeah, let's go ahead and Tailwind. I think that's going to be uh, really nice to get a Tailwind first. Here it comes. Here comes the pain. Yeah, it's going to be a weather war. So, that thing's going to hit us first, isn't it? Um, I don't, I don't know if we outspeed even with the tailwind. Don't know. Goes after the Incineroar. Nice. Okay. Trying to get an attack boost. Incineroar will take that. Oh my gosh! Incineroar takes that in extremely well. Incineroar takes that extremely well. We have the U-turn. Get Gigalith out here, um, and I think it would actually be really nice to bait my opponent to try to go into the Gigalith. What we could do is protect Gigalith, maybe. Of course, the terrain will, the weather will probably still change because you can't protect from a Dynamaxed Mon. But, if we can, you know, help Gigalith live, that'll be great. So let's go ahead and get a Protect going. Uh, and we'll just Moonblast Bear Scuda. Uh, I think we should be fine in taking a hit. I think so. I want to Protect. That's going to prevent uh, Thunder Wave. Uh, Thunder Wave's not going to bother me. But, alright, there's the Reflect. Uh, probably Light Screen next. We just gotta try to hit that thing as hard as we can. Max Geyser. Um, well, it's not going to one-shot, luckily, for us. Um, but, still not that great of a situation that we found ourselves in. We go ahead and get Incineroar out here for an Intimidate once again. Um, we'll Moonblast the Bear Scooter again. We need a... That Bear Scooter is seriously trying to wreck our, our uh, battle here. 
and that thing could honestly wreck our battle. We gotta get, we gotta keep that thing from sweeping us. And the Intimidates are very critical for us right now. If we can keep that thing's attack lowered, it's gonna help us out. And we just need to keep getting a little bit of damage on it. There's the light screen. Uh, this thing's going to hit with a max geyser, probably onto Roar, the Roar slot. Um, oh, and we lose Roar. We lost our Roar. But we're going to hit this thing with a Moon Blast. And honestly, this should be the last turn for Barrascuta. We just go into Gigalith to get the weather of our choice. And get that, get that water out, that rain out of here. So now Barrascuta, even though it took out our Incineroar, it didn't get any stat boost. And it's not going to get that speed boost. Let me make sure. Yeah, it's actually got an attack, uh, an attack reduction. Um, so, a Stone Edge into Barrascuta sounds nice to me. Um, and we'll Moonblast the uh, Grimmsnarl. Right. And then my Whimsicott. Doesn't really matter that much because we do have Prankster. Uh, we're going to take that. Alright, let's just hit this thing as hard as we can. I don't want to do a lot. Stone Edge, please connect. Thank you. Get rid of that Barrascuta before it becomes a problem. We just have to worry about this Grim Snarl. Because it's, it's unfortunately set up some stuff on us. The Tailwind has petered out. Um, it's not the worst thing. Silvaro. Look at this guy. As we get a Tailwind back up. Actually, no, let's just Moonblast. We need, um... We need some damage. We need to keep going on the offensive. But we'll get a Protect here. Spirit Shackle. That's going to lock us in the Whimsicott slot. We're going to take it, though. So we've got some good bulk. We're going to be fully paralyzed. Come on. Come on, Whimsicott. Come on, Whimsicott. You've got to do something here. All right, so maybe the Reflect goes away next turn. Let me check. Yeah, Reflect's gone next turn. Light screen follows shortly after. Um, let's go for Rock Slide. Need to get rid of Grimmsnarl. Oh, you're gonna set up that. Okay. Whimsicott! Oh my gosh! We have not done any damage with Whimsicott since we've been paralyzed. Alright, we need. Alright, so at least we're going to connect with both of these. Uh, it's not going to matter since we're slower. But we get chip damage, which is hopefully going to eventually. Help us uh, with the Grim Snarl. How many more turns of sand do we have? Five more turns. Uh, I could protect, which I think I will. So that gives me another Moon Blast onto Grim Snarl. And then after this. Uh, the Reflect will be gone, and Excadrill can come in and hopefully help us out here. Spirit Shackle. Come on, Whimsicott. Alright, we're not going to live that, unfortunately. But, Darkest Lariat. Let's get, let's get Excadrill in here. We need Excadrill to do some work for us. Come on, Excadrill. Seriously. Seriously. 
this is this is it, Excadrill. You need to connect. You need to connect these hits. Uh, we'll click Stone Edge into that thing, and then Rock Slide both of them for a chance to flinch. We have a good chance to flinch. Grim Snarl is gone. Thank you. No more Reflex or Light Screams. We get a flinch. Thank you, Stone Edge. Oh, yeah. That feels so good. <clears throat> that feels so good. All right, that just leaves one more Mon that my opponent has. Um, probably Lucario. Lucario's probably the worst uh, case. There it is. Hello. <clears throat> All right, how many more turns? How many more turns? Oh, you've got not one thing. Okay. Let's go ahead and... I can double predict, maybe. Let me... <clears> How <throat> I many uh, Sandstorm? I've got three more turns of Sandstorm. We're going to double protect here. So that way the Reflect will go away. And we can actually go on the offensive here. We need that Reflect gone. <clears throat> we need the Reflect gone. Alright, with that, Body Press into Lucario. And Drill Run. Dynamax Drill Run. That's right. I still have my Dynamax. My opponent threw his Dynamax out there in the first turn. We've got it here for the last turn. Alright, come on, Excadrill. You've got to do this. You got a one shot, and if not, Gigalith can finish it up with Body Press. Body Press is such an interesting move. It does damage based on the Pokemon's defense, not the Pokemon's attack stat. Which is actually very good because there's a lot of very bulky Pokemon that otherwise don't have a good um, option. We're going to hit this Max Quake onto the Lucaria. Boom! Game. That was the game. And even if my opponent had a Sash, uh, Gigalith could have finished up the game there anyway. So that was actually really close. I was so terrified of that Barrascuta. But with our Sand Team, we were able to uh, get rid of the Barrascuta. Let me glance at this. Uh, this increases the critical. See, I don't really look at the opponent's Pokemon that much. Uh, but I just want to see what my opponent had here because this was actually really close. Uh, Razor Claw, critical hit ratio, Focus Ban. So it's almost a Sash. Uh, sash would have been better. Um, leftovers, of course. Light Clay, the Eject Button. Um, I don't, I don't know if that's good if you're using it on your Dynamax Pokemon because it seems to actually switch out once you do that. Um, but yeah, Citrus Berry. We can actually see uh, what abilities we've got here. Um, nothing too out of the ordinary. Um, we can actually see the moves. But yeah, um. Man, Grimstar is so good at what it does. But anyway, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. I will see you in the next Pokemon video. And I think, I think this is the team I'm using for the competition. So let me know what you think.